He took it right off the wall. The throw back to first. A double play. Oh, oh my. Melvin Upton has hit a home run and has now stolen one. There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie yeah. Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. Dansby Swanson cracks one to center field. That ball's well hit. Turner going back. It's over his head, and that's going to ricochet back toward the infield. Dansby's got two. He's on his way to third. They're going to wave him. Here comes the throw to the plate. Dansby Swanson is safe. It's an inside the park home run. His first big league homer, an inside the park bomb in Washington. Can you believe that? Field. That's it, number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. MLB The Show has baseball on tap from lovely City Field in New York. Tonight, it's game three of this four-game set between the Cincinnati Reds and the New York Mets. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Steven Matz gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, H? Well, Matt, he's getting close to 200 innings, so I want to see what's his stuff look like. Because when you get to that 200 barrier, that's when guys start to have fatigue set in. The stuff's not as electric. The fastball doesn't explode. The breaking ball doesn't snap. He's moving to that range now, so I'm curious to watch him throw in this game. One one pitch a curveball that's right there one ball two strikes. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. That's a nice job of staying alive a two strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it to get another pitch. Cue shot here out towards short and a flip the first from Cabrera in time for the first out. And a moment now to glance at the Reds lineup card in this one. HR, how do they go about ending the losing streak they're mired in? Well, Matt, the bats have just gone cold. There's no other way to put it. I mean, the last three or four games, they've really struggled to score runs. I'm interested in seeing how do they turn that around in this game because the nucleus of this club and this lineup, they should be scoring runs. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. Lifetime numbers against Steven Matz. He's gone two for six. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Ligares is under it. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Batting third. In is Joey Votto now. Comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's Votto. ball game. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Curveball locks him up strike three and that's the third out. One two three go the Reds. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Scott Feldman gets the start for Cincinnati in this one. Harold any thoughts. Well, I look at his stat line, Matt. I look at his whip, and it's just above league average, and that tells me he struggles just a little bit this year. If he can keep runners off the base pass and not pile up a lot more than maybe the one or a little bit above an inning, then he's got a chance to win. So keeping the traffic limited is the key to his success in this game. Ray is awaiting the 3-1. Doesn't want any part of that cutter in its full three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Cozart a couple of steps to his left. He's got it. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Time now to take a look at Terry Collins' Mets starting lineup in this one. What are the keys to success for them today, Harold? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power. 
and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark, and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Digging in the switch hitter as Drupal Cabrera he comes in currently tied for third in home runs on the team. Bases are empty, one man out. Nip the corner, two and two. Now time to list the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Jerry Hillsdale. You know, Matt, we won't see a whole lot of arguing with Jerry. If Jerry misses a pitch, he'll tell you, I missed it. What? And anyway, if you turn around and you ask him, Jerry, how far off the plate was that? I say, Hall of Fame pitch, HR, Hall of Fame. So, Jerry, you got my respect, man. I love him. And the players love him, and so do the pitch. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Right. Two away. Michael. Coming to the plate now, Michael Conforto. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to two and one. And Harold, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they continue to fall on hard times, losing again last time out, and that makes seven. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. Mets go down one, two, three. We are still scoreless. In now, Adam Duvall. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. The wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Now he gets on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Into the wind up. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. Conforto is there to put it away for route number one. Well, let's take a look at the Mets defense brought to you by Majestic. We're looking at one of the best defensive teams in the league. They're in the top five in fielding percentage. Not many balls get through here. You're going to have to earn it if you want to beat these guys. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozart. He was responsible for both of his clubs' runs batted in in last night's ball game. Here it comes on one and one. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Chopped weakly up the first base line. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now in the box, Eugenio Suarez. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Right there is Reyes. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Reds are down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here's Juana Cespedes. He enters play in the hunt for the league's home run crown, but he'll have some work to do down the stretch. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Into his motion, here comes the 3 and 1. Looks at a curveball called for a strike. That's a high strike on a curveball right there. If he continues to throw that pitch, we won't be mentioning his name very much longer in this game. He's going to have to get that ball down to be effective. And that'll go as the Mets' first hit of the ball game. So with that, the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway. Well, that curveball's on the outside half. He usually shoot it the other way, but he stayed with it. And because he got the barrel in the right place, he still got a base hit. Now to the plate, Travis Darno. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded by Kozar. Throw on to first in time, one away. 
Time for a look at the majestic defensive alignment for the Reds. And I'm looking down there at Joey Votto. You know, Joey will surprise you. He'll make an unbelievable play because he's a gambler. He's not afraid to challenge on a bunt, and he's not afraid to turn and spin and throw a ball to second base without even looking that direction. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And a quick glance at the numbers will tell you it's been a huge struggle for him at the plate this year. Bottom of the second here with no score. Two and one. He still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Gavin Cicchini will be next. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Grounded to short. Pozart is there. Throw on to first. Two gone. Set to get his evening at the plate started. Gavin Cicchini. And it's been a real struggle for him with the bat so far this year. Looking to get things turned around in a hurry. Liner towards second. But this won't get over the second baseman's glove as he's got it to end the inning. Mets strand one. Will move to the third with no score. Into the box now, Ryan Rayburn. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off the third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. Swing and a little blooper to center. Reyes into shallow center. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. So with one gone for him here in the inning, let's check out our current standings, and you can see they enter play with a two-game lead in the division race. Standing in, Sean Zaraga, and he is proving to be something of a non-threat with a bat in his hands this year. The average isn't pretty. Hit down the line at first, but a foul ball, one and two now. Third inning, no score to this point. And the changeup is way low that time. Grounded back up the middle. And the Reds have their first hit of the game. When you're struggling, you'll look for anything. Been off to a little bit of a cold streak. He didn't hit it hard, but that's a big one to build on. Scott Feldman. Stepping in now, Scott Feldman. And they'll try to stay out of the double play here as he lays this one down. To Cabrera for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. And we are tied nothing-nothing. Here's Juan Ligares. The average just a few ticks shy of 300 for the season. So perhaps a hit or two in this one could put him up over the top. Can't quite get the low outside corner there. It's one and two. Those 0-2 curveballs are really tough for guys to lay off. There's a reason it's such a common pitch in that count, but he did well to spit on it there. And that misses two and two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. On the ground up the middle. Pozart has it. One away. Batting ninth. So with one gone, a reminder that New York Mets baseball continues all season long here on MLB The Show. As you take a look there at where the three of us will be in the week ahead. So striding in, Steven Matz. And you see that average below the dreaded Mendoza line. One and one, here it comes. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. 
Here's the pitch. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. Two and two count. Here it comes. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Now batting. Second baseman. Stepping Jose in and ready for another Reyes. shot. Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Into his motion. Here comes the 3 and 1. Ground ball right side. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. Well, Matt, that's the sixth game. He's got a base hit in now. You've got to start a streak somewhere. I start paying attention about six games. He's swinging back pretty good. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. And a full count now, three and two. All right, three, two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. He's set. Here's the three and two. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. Mets lead one. We'll head to the fourth, still scoreless. At the plate, Jose Peraza. He'll lead it off against Steven Matz. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. And another foul ball. Here he comes again, one, two. And a curveball that time that broke too low. Still all zeros in the run column here in the fourth inning. Dan, does this continue or does somebody score here? Oh, you have to love it. You know, Matt, we have so many of these games that are 12 to 10 and 9 to 8. It's nice to see a low scoring pitcher's duel for once. A shot to second base and handled for the first down. Digging in for his second at bat, Billy Hamilton. He's 0 for 1 thus far. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw gets him two down. The first baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. Digging in to try it again. Joey Votto comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Cabrera's there. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go to Reds. On to the bottom of the fourth now, still with no score. With Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, as Michael Conforto digs into the left-handed side of the batter's box to start things out. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. Tap down the line, but it gets foul. Swing, line, drive. That's going to be trouble. He's through first and hustling for second. And he will pull in here with a leadoff double. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Look out, seven games. That's one Yo, week of feeling pretty good. Let's see how long he can make this last. Striding in once again, Yoenis Cespedes. He reached on a single in his first try. Give him the green light. The one-one pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Hit down the third baseline. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. 
And they're going to take a 1 0 lead as the run comes across to score. Well, no surprise to get an RBI single early in the game. They are hot. This team is on a winning streak. I'm telling you right now, I don't know who's going to slow them down because once again, they're off to a good start. Standing in now, Travis Arnault. He grounds it sharply to third. The second for one on Devato, a double play. Now batting, third baseman, TJ. And that brings up the catcher, TJ Rivera. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Here it comes. Looks at a changeup right over the middle. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Hit the other way out toward right field. Duvall is there. And that's the third out. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. On to the top of inning number five we go. The Mets lead this one one to nothing. Into the box now, Adam Duvall. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A 1 and 1 count. Here's the pitch. Hey. Breaking ball taken right down the middle. Can't say he's tickling around the zone. Those last two pitches were pretty much grooved right down the middle, but it didn't bite him. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. The batter, number An early three. look at the Short line score here Jackson tonight Short. as we play the top of the fifth. And boy, just one lone hit for the visitors this evening as they've been taken to task by this starter. Here's the shortstop, Zach Kozar, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Cabrera there for this one at short. Reined in. In time to first, and there are two away. So still nothing against him on the scoreboard here in the fifth as we check out the league leaderboard for Team ERA. And as of right now, these guys find themselves in the number five spot in that category in the NL. Digging in, Eugenio Suarez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Ligares is under it. And that ends the inning. Reds are down in order. They're down one nothing. Ready for another chance. Gavin Cicchini as we move past the halfway point in this one and begin the bottom of the fifth. In for strike two. Hard hit ball to second, but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Center fielder number 12. Juan Digging in now, Juan Ligaris. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there. His numbers certainly aren't that pretty. But, hey, I give him credit. He's really working the count right here. Line drive to left. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. Back-to-back -back line drives. Now, the first guy was out, but, man, they're now swinging the bat pretty good. These two guys saw him pretty good. Let's see what happens now. In now, Steven Matz. Now a bunt attempt here, and he'll just scoop this away to make sure it stays foul. So we'll see if they keep the bunt on here with two strikes. And he pulls this one back in time, two and two. Look, Matt, this guy's got a great sinker. Here's the key. He's got a runner on first base. This is where you can get that ground ball double play. Make him chase that hard sinker and hit it to the dirt and turn one over for you. And with two strikes, he's able to get this one down. Oh, not in time at first, so the pitcher tries to give himself up, but instead he gets himself a base hit. So definite problems on that last play, and they'll hit the first baseman for the error. 
Digging in once again, Jose Reyes. He's one for two in the ball game. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. But this will hang up just enough as he takes it in in stride in left center for the second out. The shortstop, number 13, Asdrubal. Digging in, Asdrubal Cabrera. And we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Hard hit to first. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for the Mets, but they hold a 1-0 lead. Striding in once again, Ryan Rayburn. He'll start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Cespedes has to retreat a bit, but he gets there for route number one. Sean Zaraga. Digging in for his second at bat, Sean Zaraga. He singled his last time up. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Line drive to left, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Matt, that's a big base hit. I want to see now, can he get guys out the from the stretch? He retired seven. a lot of guys in a row out of that windup. Now he's in the stretch. Let's see if they can get to him out of the stretch. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. Throw to second, and they get him. So the sacrifice attempt is unsuccessful here. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Uh, he got the bunt down, but he didn't deaden it enough. Really good job by the first baseman to charge in and make a good throw to second to get the lead runner. Into the box now, Jose Peraza. Curveball that time, not even close. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. Yeah, it amazes me how every game you pitch can be so different, Matt. Sometimes it feels like guys can't touch you and you're just punching everyone out. But other times, you don't have your good stuff and you really rely on movement and location to get outs. That's been the case for him today, and it's really working. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. One left for Cincinnati. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Digging in and looking for more, Michael Conforto. One for two with a double on the ledger so far. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Changeup, called a strike, and he comes back even at two and two. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. It's a fine line for working down in the zone on 2 and 2 and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a 3 2 pitch. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Michael Conforto is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. One run, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Duvall ranging back, but he won't get there as it lands just shy of the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Well, that's why they call baseball a game of inches. Yeah, you're right, man. He showed some serious hops, but not serious enough. He goes up high for it with a good leap, but he just can't bring it in, and that allows him to cruise into second with a good piece of hitting.
into the box Travis Darno and a changeup that just about got away from him there as that ran in a bit too far that was a changeup so there really wasn't any intent behind it looked to me like it just slipped out of his hand a little bit that'll happen sometimes because of the grip of that straight changeup and he misses again ball three this is one of those rare hitters counts we've seen in this game they're just having a difficult time getting it going hitters count all the way here it comes now a ball lying toward the gap in left center and that's into the outfield for a one out hit they're going to extend their lead as the runner scores from second it's a two nothing ball game and he is in there now batter third baseman DJ Rivera Here comes Brian Price now out of the Reds dugout on his way to the mound. And that'll spell the end now for Scott Feldman. So he'll depart after five and a third innings of work and with no shot to win the decision. Blake Wood, the 6'5 right hander, takes over on the mound. Blake Wood. Standing in now, T.J. Rivera breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out, but meanwhile the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. Digging in once again, Gavin Cicchini. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. And now a right-hander's begun to loosen up in the Cincinnati bullpen. He's set. Here's the 3-2. and two. Ground ball left side. Pro goes to Votto over at first. It's in time to retire the side. One for the Mets on the double by Darno. The two, three, four hitters now to start the seventh. It's now two nothing New York. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He'll start the inning, and we're back to the top of the order, but they haven't looked too dangerous in this one yet. Right, guys? Well, none of them have any hits yet, so you're right on the money. They've done a great job of holding these guys down so far. Another opportunity for him here, so we'll see if anything changes. Hit hard towards second, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. Well, that one right there, he let the ball travel. It got back in on him, but it didn't beat him. He was strong enough to shoot it the other way. Stayed inside the ball for the base hit. In is Joey Votto now. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Now time is called here as we'll get a trip to the mound. Well now here comes the Mets manager Terry Collins on his way to the mound and we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So as he departs he'll remain responsible for the man left to board but he cannot lose this one. Your attention please. Now so they'll go the to the bullpen now and it'll be the left hander here down. to face the upcoming Terry left handed batter. Levin. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a ball hit high down the left field line, but back in amongst the spectators, foul. Another try at 2-2. Got a lot of it out to deep left. Cespit is going back. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Joey Votto a two run shot and even 20 home runs for him now thus far and the Reds have come back to tie things at two apiece. Well the skipper called on him for a reason and I can guarantee you one thing that was not what he had in mind first pitch and it was out of here. That's a rough way to start your day. 
at the office as a reliever. In now, Adam Duvall. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. And he'll stay alive here, but just barely as this ball's chopped foul at the plate, and the count holds at two and two. And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. The 2 2 pitch. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Good sinker that time as he gets a piece and chops it foul at home plate. <laughs> My goodness, there's another one. Seven foul balls in a row. You just don't see at bats like this. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Weak grounder back to the mound. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. The batter number two, shortstop, Zach Kozart. Ready once again, Zach Kozart. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. One out, nobody on. Swing and a pop up behind home plate, and that'll get out of play and into the VIP seats. To two, two balls and two strikes now. Cutter, and it doesn't make it back. Three and two. That's a good pitch to lay off right there, that cutter inside. And that is a real tough pitch for hitters to lay off of. And a lot of times, if you do swing at that cutter in, you're going to end up with some firewood and a broken bat. This is line to left. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. Now batting. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Eugenio, Eugenio Suarez. Suarez. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Now here's a line drive and this is going to get down for extra bases. Here comes the go ahead run and the throw in gets away from him and he will score now from first and the throwing mistake they're getting the ball in is going to wind up Up's costing him. Well that's a huge well, base hit. Anytime you get a hit Ryan late in the game Rayburn. to give you the lead in the ball game you feel good about yourself and his teammates are pumped up as well. Stepping in now Ryan Rayburn and he'll promptly send it in the air out to center field. And he's going to get there after a long run as he gloves it for the second out. Now batting. Digging in to try it again. Sean Zaraga. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. Ready with the one and one. A cold strike on the inside corner. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. Suarez rounds the corner and is headed home. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Well, that base hit right there gives him two-run cushion. When you have a two-run cushion late in the game, you got to feel pretty good about yourself. Harris Mindy Alcantara will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Alcantara. Four runs here in this half inning. And this is chopped foul at the plate and he stays alive, still 0 and 2. A swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone and the inning is over. So it's four runs on five it's hits, no errors, and a man seventh left. Inning seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. The Reds lead it four to two. Jumbo Diaz, come on now as he prepares to pitch in his 85th game this year. Jumbo Diaz. 
Ready for another shot now. Juan Ligares. A hit in two tries so far. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Knee-high slider that he takes a look at. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two line drive to center field. Hamilton is right there. One down. Good contact to start out the inning. The Thought he might be on Enter. base with some sort of a hit but it hung up there too long. Just unlucky that time. Matt Reynolds. Reynolds. We'll get the call Entering here as he'll hit the for the pitcher. Number 15. Matt Reynolds. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate. An easy take there. It's three and one now. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. He's set. Here's the three and two. And this is fouled at the plate. Here comes the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground to short. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting, second baseman. Ready for another Jose chance? Jose Reyes. Reyes. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. He's set, and the one two pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Hamilton is under it, and that retires the side. Down in order go the Mets. Still down by a count of four to two. Hansel Robles has been summoned from now the bullpen as he'll do Mets. so to start the eighth. Number 47, Ansel Robles. And here's Jose Peraza. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. The one and two pitch. He pops up the changeup, heading out towards shallow right. And Reyes will take this one for the first out. The batter number and in a 4-2 game, time to check the numbers here. It's our starter comparison as we see how these two performances stack up against one another. Here's Billy Hamilton standing in. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. And that falls in for a solid base hit, his second of the night. Well, for a switch hitter to take the pitch and hit it the other way, whether it's a fastball, changeup, or curveball, that is a lot of work and dedication from both sides of the plate. Joey Votto will stand in again and we'll take you back to the seventh inning. This was a two run home run and it was one of the key blows in the ball game thus far. He's set. Here comes the one one. Pitches a cold strike. The throw. Way late and he's in there easily at second. Swing and a line drive. But this is foul near the seats. Getting late 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. Chop foul over towards the coaching box. Whoa, he tried to get a little cute right there. A little two-strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss. But man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. He's just fouling him off so he gets something he wants to hit. Again, a 1-2. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone. And there are two gone. Well, Meat check swings Cincinnati. are right there next right, to Hilda. bang bang plays at first as the most difficult calls for an up to make. Taking a look at show motion, the batter doesn't appear to hold up enough, so I think the call was right. 
Into the box now. Adam Duvall. On oh, a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. Oh, that was a tough pitch to lay off of. He took this hack at that slider. He thought it was going to be over the plate. It just kept running away. Oh, he's going to want that pitch again. That ball's right down. Three. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And that will retire the side. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Drew Storen is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 31, Drew Storen. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Favorable call in there for a strike. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Now Cabrera awaits the 2-2. Little tapper down the first baseline. That's a foul ball. All even at 2-2. Two and two. Here it is. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And that is through into right field for a single. Well, they've hung around. I know it's late in the game, but that's a big leadoff single. Maybe this will be what they need to get right to start fielder. that attack to put them ahead. Michael Now in the box, Michael Conforto. He's working on a one for three thus far. The set and the one one pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Hold high in the air out to right field. Moving under it, Duvall. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Ioannis Cespedes. Lifetime against Drew Storen. A perfect two for two. He's taken him deep once. And he misses two and one. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Just off the inside part of the plate, it's three and one. Travis Garneau is on deck. Set to deal. Here's the three one. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Matt, here we are. Double play situation, and everybody knows he's got that sinker. Maybe get a ground ball and get two, right? But he comes with the fastball right there. Now nobody knows what to see. This is going to be an interesting at bat. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four, and it's first and second now with one away. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. It was an RBI double for him in his last turn to the plate. Looks like the Reds are going to have some stirring in the bullpen as the lefties begin to heat up down there. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first, and that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. And you know, guys, oh, if this bat man. doesn't break, Very it's baseline. probably a double play Very ball, but that Rose just wasn't Carolina. happening here. Good job to make sure of one, though. Joe Blanton will slide in now and try to work out of this. Runners at second and third with two gone. Joe Blanton. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Two left for the Mets. They trail it here four to two. 
So coming to the plate, Zach Kozart. He'll start things off in the top of the ninth as they look for a little insurance. Ready now with the payoff pitch. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. The 3 2 one more time. Heading out towards shallow right. Conforto giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first down. Third baseman number seven. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Eugenio Suarez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Now a changeup is bounced to second. Right there is Reyes. And he'll whip this one over to first, and he gets his man for the second out. The batter, left fielder. Ryan Standing in, Rayburn. Ryan Rayburn. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. One and one, here it comes. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw in time, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Reds. But they still lead this one four to two. Now the skipper's on his way out toward the home plate area, and I believe that means we're going to have a double switch here. Rysel Iglesias, if the man He's called on to close Cincinnati. this one and earn a now save in the night. In the seventh spot, number 26, Rysel Iglesias. Now playing left Leading off the inning, the Gavin Cicchini, and they'll need him to get something going here. Here's the one and two delivery. Swing and a line drive, and that'll make him one for four in this one. That line drive base hit, now it brings the tying run to the plate. You know Matt Denver does talk about a bloop five. and a blast. Wow. Maybe it is Long a rope time. and some hope. We'll see how the ninth inning plays out. Here's Juan Ligares. He represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases. Yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. Takes a look at a slider that catches the inside corner. Popped up. There to take it is Votto, and there's one gone. David Wright will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. David Wright. Swing and a little tapper. And a barehanded attempt, but he can't get his palm around it. Infield single, as innocent as it may sound, that might be a rally starter right there. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out, and the lineup turns over now for Jose Reyes. First and second now, one man out. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. No doubt. Some saves come easier than others. And I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing up a difficult pass. Runner is back. Right on the corner. Two and two. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And indeed, he'll not even try as he goes to first. And that means two men are in scoring position now with two away. The shortstop, number 13. So digging in now as Drupal Cabrera. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Well, that was unexpected. You're looking for the sinker down. He throws a fastball up. Now he's just changed the game on you. He's forcing you to look somewhere else. As them down to their final strike, here it comes. Pop foul, and it looks like that's going to make it into the VIP seats.
He'll try again, one, two. Lifted the other way out to left center. And he'll make the catch there to end it. And the Reds will put an end to their three-game skid as this ball game is over. Excellent work putting the finishing touches on this one. Picking up save number 30 now on the year. Nice job from him. Four to two, the final score tonight. Blake Wood earns the victory out of the bullpen, his fifth. Rysel Iglesias wraps it up for the save, his 30th. So that's a wrap here tonight. Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Four runs on eight hits. One error. They left. That ball is drilled to right field as he hit another. Touch them all. Two homers, two doubles, and the Padres win. An amazing night for Ryan Schimpf. And his 14th homer of the season, his second of the night, wins it for San Diego, 7-4. The 2-2. Line drop.